hello everyone welcome back to my channel for today's tutorial we're going to be making this jack skeleton pouch he's really easy to make and not time consuming at all you're going to be needing some white acrylic yarn and some three ply acrylic yarn in black some cotton thread in black size three to embroider the nose and mouth you'll also need a g hook an f hook a darning needle and a pair of scissors. Now let's get started. We're going to start off with a magic ring and then we're going to chain one and do six single crochet into the ring. Now for round two, we're going to be making an increase into each stitch for a total of six increases. That should leave you with 12 single crochet. Now there's our first increase and we're going to use the stitch marker now. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that at the beginning. You do need a stitch marker for this project. So we're going to add the stitch marker in the first stitch so we can keep track of each round. Now we're going to continue making our increases. Now we've reached the end of round two and now we're going to remove the stitch marker so we can start round three and we're going to make an increase into the first stitch. Now that we've completed the increase we're going to insert the stitch marker again on the first stitch for the beginning of round three. Now in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet. So we're going to be doing a repetition of an increase and a single crochet should be a total of six times so we have five more to go and that would be round three. Now we've reached the end of round three. We're going to remove the stitch marker. And now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to start off with single crochets and then doing the increase at the end. So we're going to do two single crochet and then an increase. Okay, so here's our first stitch. We're going to put the stitch marker in so we can mark the beginning of round four. We're going to make our second single crochet. And then the next stitch, we are going to do our increase. Okay, so we have two single crochet and an increase. Now continue repeating that repetition around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, now we are at the last repetition. We're going to make the two single crochet. And in the last stitch, we are doing our increase. And that is the end of round four. Now we're going to remove the stitch marker and we're going to start round five. So for round five, we're going to do the increase first and then we're going to do three single crochet. Okay, so here's our increase. And once the increase is done, now you can mark your first stitch for the beginning, beginning of round five. And now we're going to do three single crochet. So we have the increase and then three single crochet. Now you're going to repeat that repetition going around and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Here we're at the last repetition of round five and we're going to do our increase. 
and then we're going to do three single crochet now we're going to remove the stitch marker so we can start round six For round six we're going to do four single crochet and then an increase so now we're going to do our first stitch and we're going to mark it with the stitch marker and now we're going to continue we're going to do three more single crochet and now we're going to do our increase So that's four single crochet and then an increase. Now you're going to repeat that five more times around and I'll meet you at the last repetition. Now we're at the last repetition. You're going to do four single crochet. And now in the last stitch we're going to do our increase. Now you're going to remove the stitch marker and we're going to start row seven. For row seven, we're going to be doing the increase first and then we're gonna be doing five single crochet. Now there's our increase. And now we're going to mark the first stitch with the stitch marker. And now we're going to do five single crochet. So you have an increase and then five single crochet. Now you're going to be repeating that five more times all the way around, but I'll meet you at the last repetition. Here we are at our last repetition and we're going to do an increase. And now we're going to do five single crochet. Now we're going to remove the stitch marker so we can start round eight. Now we're going to be doing six single crochet and then we're going to do our increase. So there's our first stitch and we're going to mark it with the stitch marker. And we're going to continue doing our single crochets. And now we're going to do our increase. So you have six single crochet and an increase. Now you're going to repeat that repetition around and I'll meet you the last one. Now we're at the last repetition and we're going to do our six single crochets and the increase in the last stitch. Now we're at the last stitch, we're going to do the increase. Now we're going to remove the stitch marker and we won't be using that again because this is going to be the last round. We are going to slip stitch into the next stitch to kind of close that off and even it out. And now we're going to chain one and we're going to be doing a half double crochet. And we're going to do half double crochets all the way around. So continue doing that, I'll meet you at the end. We reached the end of the round, we're just doing our last half double crochets. And that is our last stitch. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet that we did. And now we're going to chain six. We're going to slip stitch into that same stitch and then we are going to fasten off. And you're just gonna pull the tail through the back so you can weave it in after. And that's it for the first panel. See how the, the half double crochet is kind of rounded out so it's not, so it's giving more of a circular form. 
Now, you're going to repeat this pattern for the second panel, but you're going to do a chain 50 instead of a chain 6, and you're also going to leave a long tail when you fasten off to sew the panels together. And now I'm going to show you how to make the eyes and to embroider the nose and mouth. For the eyes, we're going to be using the 3-ply black acrylic yarn, and we're going to be using the F hook. We're going to start off with a magic ring, and we're going to do a chain 1, and we're going to do three half double crochet. Now we're going to make six double crochet. Now we're going to make four single crochet. Now we're going to close up the ring and we're going to make a slip stitch into the first stitch. And then we're going to fasten off. And now we're going to pull the tail through the back so we can weave in that later. Now if you take a look at this eye, it's slanted on one side, like on the top going towards like the upper right. Now to make the other eye, we're going to be working in the opposite way. So we're going to do the same stitches but the starting off with the single crochets as opposed to the half double crochets. So we're going to do the same thing, we're going to start with the magic ring. We're going to chain one and we're going to do four single crochet. Now we're going to do six double crochet. And now we're going to close the ring a little and we're going to do three half double crochet. Close the ring and now you're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we did. And you're going to fasten off. Make sure the ring is closed tightly and then you're going to pull the tail through the back and there's our second eye see how it's slanted to the other to the left the upper left side there goes your two eyes now i'm going to show you how to place them on the face and where to embroider the nose and mouth for the eyes, you can either sew them on or glue them on. I glued mine on and I glued them from the second row, above the second row and below the eighth row. And I put them on like a slant so they could like go a little inward. And for the nose, you'll notice that I embroidered them around the circle of round one from the top to the bottom on each side. And then for the mouth, I put the line that goes across put it through row 7 and 8 going all the way around and then I did the stitching going from row 7 and 8 all the way around now to sew the panels together you're going to count 7 stitches from the loop okay so there's a, you have the 7 stitches and then you're going to count 7 stitches from the other side and that's how you're going to sew it around I've already attached it onto the 7th stitch of the back panel so now I'm going to make sure I have seven stitches in the front and I'm going to begin to sew them together. See, so there goes our first stitch. Now we're going into the second stitch and you're going to continue to do this 
all the way around all the way to the other side making sure you count seven stitches from the loop on the opposite side now this is how your bag charm should look once you finish that and it's really cute it's very spacious you can put in the airpods or you could put in treats for like halloween goodie bags it's really cute and easy to make for those of you who were asking and came here through Instagram, this Hello Kitty Jack Skellington is actually a part of my Hello Kitty Spooky Edition patterns. It's a bundle pack. It contains nine different characters, including the original Hello Kitty pattern. You can find it on Etsy and in Ravelry. I'm going to leave the links in the description. And that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and share. And if you post your work, please tag me. I love to see and share it. Bye.